Uh, we're going to begin tonight with a stretch of cold, wet weather that could bring sleet and, dare we say, even a little snow. Good evening. I'm Bill Bias. And I'm Lauren Freeman. While we're still above freezing right now, that wintry mix is still possible. We have team coverage for you tonight with everything you need to know about the weather and the road conditions. We'll begin with our chief meteorologist, Frank Billingsley. Frank? Well, you know, it's all about timing, Bill, mm -hmm. because it all starts as snow where it's 32 or below upstairs. The question is, as that precipitation falls, is it 32 or below downstairs? Usually it's not, but there's a chance we will cool off enough so that that freezing line comes all the way down to the surface of the earth and consequently so does the snow. Certainly as you know from today the precipitation is in place and it's going to continue as we go right on into the evening and the overnight. So that's not an issue. We had an easy quarter to a half an inch just today and more is on the way and there are freeze warnings up here from Columbus to Conroe to Cleveland where you see these light blue colors. Those are freeze warnings starting at 8 o'clock tonight until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So certainly cold air is on the way in and we'll talk more about that coming up. What I want to show you now is what we have currently. So you see exact track radar and that's where we're finding all of the snow and the precipitation off to our west and down to the south. So I look at what model best initializes what we have currently and that model does a pretty good job. This is one I use all the time and you can see it's picking up the snow across the area off to our west. So I put that in motion and you can see as we get to about nine o'clock tonight, we start to see some of this mix of snow and sleet and light rain as we continue into the mid night hours and that's when we're looking for that freezing weather to really start moving in from the north. Some snow mixed in a little broader area from Houston down toward Corpus Christi continues right along the coast at two in the morning. Maybe a little sleet mixed up here to the north as well and then the snow right along the coast at four in the morning. Now once we get to sunrise seven o'clock tomorrow morning things really begin to get out, get out of here pretty quickly and we end up with an absolutely beautiful day. But there is this possibility in the overnight it looks like the timing is 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. north to south. So grassy areas, car hoods, roofs, accumulation, a little dusting. There's some chance that to the southwest an inch of snow could fall, but that is a worst case scenario. It's not likely, but it could happen. Protect people, pets and plants, regardless of whether it snows, it's going to be cold. Could be a messy commute. It certainly is right now. Eric, take it away. All right, yeah, Frank, as far as traffic goes, traffic volumes are beginning to build big time as we get into the evening commute, so let's get straight to it. The worst of the problem is on the west side of town. Folks trying to get from downtown to the west and northwest side of town, the West Loop, the West Beltway, both packed up. 290 also is a big problem outbound toward Jersey Village, toward the Cypress area. You can see the Beltway right here, both north and south at Westview is just stacked up. People going very, very slowly. Even where the volumes are not all that heavy, traffic is very slow because of the wet roadway, the spray from the car in front of you causing problems there. So things looking a little dicey on the roadways. The good thing is we don't have any accidents that we are dealing with. So that's very, very good. And as far as drive times go, you can see here that the west side is facing more difficulty than say the east side is only 18 minutes out to Baytown uh, on the I-10 freeway. The Katy freeway though, 68 minutes to Katy, 77 minutes to Cypress, 77 minutes to Sugarland, and it's going to take you a half hour to get down to Pearland. So even though there is no accident, the wet roadways are slowing things down. It's going to take probably a good 10 minutes or so at at least to get where you're going uh, on these roadways. Just be careful out there. Fortunately, no freezing precipitation as temperatures are in the 40s. Back to you.